They have like single parent forums and oh, that's stuff good. like that too. I didn't know that. Yeah, they even have activities that you can do. Um, they like have a calendar of events and that sort of thing. So right. I know that there's that out there too. So there's many outlets to start to get connected. I think that's the right. hardest part is just taking that first step. But I mean, like you said, you don't know what people's experience could have been. I mean, they could have dealt with some major rejection. That's right. And if you have, most of us have dealt with major rejection. Exactly. It is really scary it's to hard. get out there. It is. And it is. I think just facing that, just saying, okay, I know that having the support network is more important than me just sitting here being afraid the rest That's of my right. life. At some point, we have to take a step. That's exactly right. And I'll tell you, during my first few years of being a single parent, Focus on the Family had a section that was just completely devoted to single mm -hmm. parents. I'm not sure that they do now. I, I would imagine that that's a resource that they've kept in place, being that 50%. Mm -hmm. I mean, the church is modeling the world, and that mm -hmm. half of the church is now divorced. The statistics say the Christians are half, it's, it's, it's about equal with society. And they would have articles, or they would do shows where they would interview, and that was was good for me because it wasn't it was something I could go do on my own. Yeah. And because um, if you have young kids, it's really hard for you to get out and connect with a group. Yeah. And now with technology, you can just pop up in your laptop and sit in the in the I get those children down if they're young at night and sit, and that's a ministry that's coming right to you in your home, and it and it's such a source of encouragement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really, unless we're having a play date, uh, you know, after the kids go to bed is when I get to like connect, and that's right. when I go on Facebook. It is. And see what all my friends are doing, and I yeah text people and and that sort of thing, and it's it's really really nice, even that's just fine. that little little bit. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, uh, what other support network? Because, I mean, this is a theme, I swear, 95% of the shows that we do mm -hmm. on this TV show, one of the steps or one of the things is get a support network. Yeah. It's over and over and over and over and over again. Well, I would say, really, first and foremost, you have got to get into the Word. Mm -hmm. Because the Word says, I am the Lord and I change not. You know, and, and you know, people forget the second part of that when he says, even, you know, that Jacob are my descendants and I, they will live. And we, when we were grafted into Jesus, we were grafted into the lineage mm -hmm. of Abraham. And God is saying, I made that covenant 6,000 years ago, and that covenant has not changed. And I will see that you live not in the, I mean, he, he's, he's promised you eternal life, but he is saying that you can have life. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, yeah. he's come because he is the spring of living water, and he's giving us life eternal here as well. You know, yeah. um, he wants your spirit man to thrive here. And when he says, yeah. you know, um, the promises of God are yes and amen. You know, or he says, um, you know, in Peter or Hebrews, he's saying, I will dwell in hope because of the Lord's promises are everlasting. Yeah. Right, and so it's uh, the thing about change is is that you can't control change, and the one thing that you can be sure of throughout your life is that change is constant. That is the only thing you can be sure of. Yeah. But with knowing that God is constant as well, you are not afraid of change. Yeah, I love that. I love that when I um, when I got that on not just a spiritual level, but an academic level, and just a, mm -hmm. um, that, that idea that God doesn't change, it mm -hmm. totally rocked every area of my mind. Right. When I really wrap my mind around this thing that God does not change, not only does mm -hmm. he not change, but it's impossible for him to change. That's right. He can't change, because right. if he did change, he would cease to exist as God, and therefore we would cease to exist. Yeah. I mean, it just, he cannot change. He cannot. And then the, when you were talking about getting in the Word, as and, and I'm like, wow, why didn't we bring up that before? Because that is the number that one support the number network. One. And it reminds me of Absolutely. my, oh my goodness, my favorite verse um, in Isaiah 55, where it talks about, you know, the rain comes down from heaven, and just as the rain comes down from heaven, God's word comes down, mm -hmm. and just like the rain, it doesn't return to the earth or return to the heavens without accomplishing That's what right. it was sent to accomplish, without watering the earth, making yeah. it flourish. And, and right after that it says, 
so is my word that comes forth from my mouth. It does not return to me void without accomplishing what I have sent it to That's do. Fine. And you, and then it goes on to describe the people who receive this blessing of the, the nourishment of the word as myrtles and um, pine trees as opposed mm. to um, like thorns and bushes. Wow. You know, and, and it describes this thing that is changing over and over again, growing and changing. But I mean, what an amazing change to happen to grow into this pine tree that's to, just that imagery. Yeah. Think of yourself as that imagery. Um, right. I love it. I love it. And you know, and then uh, you were saying that in, in Numbers, the Lord says that um, I, I am, you know, I'm talking about it not changing. Mm -hmm. um, and then the verse is going to go right from my, you know, he says that I am not a man that I cannot, uh, that I, you know, I cannot lie. Yeah. I am not a man that I can lie. You know, right. and so whatever God has said, it's, you know, that it's truth. And he even says, you know, when we're looking in the word, it's like a mirror. And it says, you know, that it, the word of God is alive and it's sharper than any two-edged mm -hmm. sword dividing even to the bone and marrow. Yeah. And so if you're opening up that book and you're looking, wherever you are in, in whatever stage of life you are in, it is dividing. It's going to speak it's to you. It's speaking to that. Right, where, you're right at. where you are. Yeah. And so it gives you surety. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I, when I was in college, I majored in psychology. Mm -hmm. And I think the reason that I did that is because I was trying to understand life. No, I'm certain that's why yeah. I, I, I chose that major. Mm -hmm. But th this is studying the texts of men, you know, Freud and the different theories and, yeah. you know, and that did not bring me peace. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't until I got into the Word of God that I was able to make sense because that book is, it's his story and it's, his, it's your plan, it's, it's your amazing. roadmap yeah. for how you, because you're on a journey and you have to have, I don't know about anyone else, but I need directional signs. I do too. I need them. I need someone to say, stop right here. I'm a fan of Google Maps. Yeah. I'm like, hello, where am I at? Yeah. Green, green Pam, you can go in this situation. Yeah. I just am not that, you know, talk to me like a third grader. I don't, it doesn't need to be real fancy. Pam, that's not going to work for you. The Lord says to me, you know, when I'm reading this word, or he, when you get into his word, he'll come to you. He, it won't necessarily be just like he gave you a word of knowledge about something yeah. that was coming forth in your life. And he'll say to me, that's not a good choice for you to make. Just in my right. spirit. And I don't even have to explain it to anyone else. Yeah. I just know, that's not good for me. I'm going to pass. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Oh, man. It is. It's a... Yeah. And you know, when we talk about this, this whole change and how scary just being a single parent can be and all of the things, there is nothing. I mean, and I used to fight with this so much, fight with this so much before I got convinced of the power of the Word of God in my life. I would fight this to the death. I do not, I have better things to do. I have right. to get ready. I have to be to work on time. I have to do this. I have to do that. And Okay, five minute devotional maybe, but that's about it. And I would, and I was convinced that when it came down to the wire, the Word of God really didn't have what it took to speak into my life's problems. Mm -hmm. I was convinced of this. I mean, even though I didn't necessarily say this in my mind, because mm -hmm. it would have been heretical to say this, uh -huh. you know, truly, but that's how I lived out my life. I said, oh, praise the Lord, hallelujah, you know, but then when it came to the living out of my life, was I really, I mean, did my life say, I really believe that the Word of God is going to speak in on this. Mm. Because if I did, I'd be going to it over and over again. Right. It reminds me of a verse our pastor just had us memorize recently. Um, Philippians 4, 4 through 7, where he's mm -hmm. talking about um, the um, don't be anxious about anything. Mm -hmm. But right before Everything. that, yeah, right before he says don't be anxious about See, I'm going to, oh man, I'm sorry, Pastor Ray, if I can't remember the whole thing. <laughs> but he's talking about this, um, that, that you're, you know, the Lord is near. You, you Don't be anxious about anything, but by prayer and petition. And he broke, us, broke down what those words really meant. Right. And he was saying um, prayer and petition, not just asking for something. He's like, what that really means, like in the original language, was that by um, bearing your heart, hmm. you um it's when you have a real prayer, you know, um, just bearing your heart saying, hey, Lord, if this doesn't happen, it just has to happen because if it doesn't, I'm afraid I'm going to be a failure for the rest of my life. Like, I mean, a real gut-wrenching, authentic 
prayer just between you and the Lord. And at that point, the peace of God that passes all understanding comes in 